The first harvest of tubers from the nurseries are known as mini tubers. This will yield the basic tubers, which will yield the C1 tubers. Mr. Saidi explained the process to us. Those tubers we harvest from in vitro or cuttings in the nursery are known as mini tubers. So we plant those mini tubers in the soil now. That will be the first time for the, those tubers to be planted in the soil. So after harvesting, they will be clones. We will call them clones. We will take them to our stores under controlled temperatures as we wait for, for them to sprout. After we plant them, those clones, we will harvest pre-basic. I uh, will harvest a pre-basic. After harvesting pre-basic, uh, what, will, what will come out from there, from pre-basic is basic. From basic is to C1, CG1, that is a certified seed generation one. So after that, C, C2, we'll go to C2, C3. But we can also sell C1. We can also sell C2. We can also sell C3. But sometimes to sell C1, if we can only sell C1 or basic, we can also sell. But the problem is that uh, we will not have bulked enough. So you see, we, like we have got, uh, we have harvested, for, for instance, we have harvested uh, uh, 100 mini tubers from Shangi, from what we, or one, 1,000 mini tubers from Shangi, from our, our nursery. Uh, when we plant them in the soil, our Shangi will be producing, will be producing maybe an average of 20, of, of 20 tubers. An average of 20 tubers per plant. So that will be 20,000, isn't it? Tubers. And that will be clones. We bring them. We wait until they sprout. We plant them again. If we harvest to pre-basic, maybe every, every stem, will, every plant will also give us 20 tubers. It will not be 20,000. Now we'll be talking of 400,000 tubers, isn't it? And then we, our, the, all these processes are done because we want to multiply our seeds. We want to multiply as much as we can so that we have something now to, to sell to farmers. At the time of our visit, the workers were busy harvesting. Harvesting season could take between two to three months on the entire area allocated to potato farming. The farm is highly mechanized, and as a result, the potato unit is run by only about 100 employees. One of their machines was under repair, and in such a case, the workers can continue manually so as to be able to meet deadlines. The potato harvester was repaired and work resumed shortly. Potato harvesters work by lifting the potatoes from the bed using a share. Soil and crop are transferred onto a series of webs where the loose soil is sieved out. The workers also remove any unwanted matter that may have been picked by the machine. The harvester then loads the potatoes on one-ton boxes on a trailer before they are transported to the sorting and grading area. The dedicated team of workers consists of both men and women in all levels of production, including machine operations. The farm harvests about 70 tons of potatoes every day. Upon arrival at the reception area, the potato seeds are weighed before they are transported to the store. The seeds are not sorted or graded the same day, as the sorting and grading process takes a lot longer than harvesting. As a result, grading is done on a first-come, first-served basis. The potatoes are sorted into grade 1, grade 2, and oversized depending on size. The recommended size for grade 1 is 28 mm to 35 mm, while grade 2 accommodates potatoes that are between 36 mm to 55 mm. The grading machine is automated to do the grading. Oversized potatoes are sold to food producers and middlemen who sell them to retailers. Done the records, we, we record, the forklift driver will record 
how much, how many tons or how many boxes, because one box is one ton. So we record and even the way bridge, we have a way bridge at the gate there. So we will have gotten the information from the way bridge, uh, knowing that we have received this variety, uh, this quantity. And now from there, after storing them, we will, uh, we will, we will start now, we will not start, start grading at the same day because we have uh, uh, so many, uh, production is, 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 is very heavy. And uh, we can receive uh, in a day like 70 tons from the field. An average of 60 to 70 tons every day. And that will go for like uh, one and a half months. Every day we receive, we harvest. We have recommended sizes of the seeds. We have size one and size two. The size one is a smaller one of 28 millimeter to 35 millimeters. But size two is a bigger one, which has 36 millimeters to 55. To minimize undersized and oversized potatoes, Mr. Saidi says they do monitor the potatoes while in the farm to ensure they are at a good size before the vegetation is mowed and the tubers left to harden the skin. We go around, we do crop work in the, far, in the fields and now do the sizing and uh, make sure that this is the right size now to, to harvest. So we will deholm the crop by cutting. Uh, for our case, we use a mower, a mowing machine. So we mow them, then uh, we will wait for the for the tubers to harden their skin, so that now we start we start harvesting. We also talked to Isaac Sumbi, one of the workers at the grading area, who took us through the grading process in detail. Pandeoni packaging, bapo na maga viazi pandeo wengine. Lafi kikuja kwa system, napata pale wale wamama wana grade. Soso pale, isha gradewa ni kutoa tu kama kuna hile hiko ime crack, ama hile lape maribika, inekewa kwa hizo gunia za 50 kgs. After grading, the seeds are stored at between 11 to 13 degrees Celsius. The seeds can however be stored for as long as 6 months by lowering the temperature gradually to 4 degrees. If we want to keep these seeds to be ready, in the next uh, three, four, five, six months, we will uh, reduce the temperatures to four degrees. But again, something very important, our system, you, ca you cannot put just potatoes on uh, from 13 to four. You will only put it to four, to 13, but it will be reducing as uh, 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 degree every day, every, every after 24 hours. The potatoes are packed in 50 kilogram bags, which are sold at 55 shillings per kilogram, meaning a 50 kilogram bag of certified potato seeds from Kisima Farm would cost you 2,750 Kenya shillings. Storing the seeds at the recommended temperature allows for sprouting, hence farmers are able to buy seeds which are ready for planting. Storing at low temperatures of 4 degrees also preserves the potatoes as they await good prices. Potato is being a, a perishable uh, produce, uh, even, even uh, all over. Everyone wants, wants to have a cold, a cold store where the temperatures can be controlled. Two, you can keep it for a long time. If the market is not uh, favoring you, the prices are not favorable. You can put, uh, keep it. Like for those ones who are selling where potatoes for consumption, uh, they will keep potatoes until the prices are ready. Now, when the prices are red, are good enough, the farmer can now sell. Kisima Farm also offers training to farmers through field days. During these field days, farmers get the opportunity to exhibit their products. They have also been organizing field days across the country, which farmers are welcome to attend. 
the farm also welcomes farmers who are interested in learning about good seeds to the farm anytime. We go around, we make sure we, we, we make sure that we participate. We also be having another one in Nyandarwa, another one in Njoro, Nakuru. So we go and exhibit to farmers what we normally do. To make your orders, one can email or reach them via phone. You can also walk in and make your orders. The farm receives many orders which are placed in a database. Farmers can be contacted when the seeds they ordered are ready. Unfortunately, they are sometimes unable to meet the demand for large orders. According to Mr. Said, the orders sometimes exceed their production. We want to spread our, our, our seeds uh, all over and also we go by first come, first served. As you know, seeds, uh, certified seeds for potatoes is a, is a challenge to this country. But uh, we want to, to get somewhere so that small scale farmers down there can, 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 can regenerate and be certified and also sell. So by so doing, because you know, you can uh, imagine a farmer from uh, Kitale or Mount Elgo. They also buy seeds from here. But it's uh, quite expensive for transport because he has bought it here because that 2750 is a farm gate price. But after transporting that seed, uh, that bag of seed to Mount Elgo, it gets there. Maybe it will not be 2750, it will be 4000 or something. We were curious to find out the potential harvest under optimal conditions if a farmer bought seeds from them. Under good condition, op good op uh, condition, what we will produce on Shangi, Shangi can give you 55 tons per hectare. But we have, we have tried ourselves here. We planted Unica, it gave us 70 tons per hectare. Sherekea gave us 65 tons. So uh, a farmer should also be able to do that. Well, that brings us to the end of our insightful show on potato seeds from Kisima Farm, which produces about 75% of Kenya's certified potato seeds. We hope you learned more on potato seeds. Stay tuned to KTN Farmers TV for more insightful shows.